Hey guys and welcome back. This is going to be a follow-up video to our first Elon Musk Master Plan Part 2 speculation video. Uh, Elon Musk has gone ahead and released his final version of what his second master plan is going to be. So we're just going to kind of run through what his goals are and then just kind of discuss each one individually and you know how it matched up with kind of our speculation video that we made a couple weeks back. So just to give you a quick overview of what this master plan is, it has create stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, and this really matches up to what our main prediction was with you know, how, what was going to be part of this second master plan. I thought, you know, transforming the, the grid and making a f more affordable solar roofs was going to be kind of, you know, most of what this master plan was going to be, but it turns out this is just one portion of a whole bunch of things that we have here to discuss. So we also have expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments. This we weren't really expecting. Um, it's also really cool, you know. It was thing something that we speculated about a little bit in our video, but we didn't necessarily think that this was going to be the route of what this master plan was going to have in it, but cool nonetheless. Also, develop a self-driving capability that's 10 times safer than manual, so with just a regular person driving via massive fleet learning. This is also something I didn't necessarily expect in this master plan, because I kind of thought that it was already kind of well known that this was going to be, you know, being developed and already kind of being deployed in Tesla vehicles, but you know this just goes a little further in what they're already working on and building on in the future and then this is something that out of all these four different parts this last one was the only one that I didn't discuss at all because it wasn't even really on the radar and it's enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it this is just really cool um, and it should make buying Tesla's that much more affordable so we'll kind of discuss this a little more as we go through each one of these more in depth. So scrolling back up here, first they kind of in this article which is uh, the blog on tesla.com, first they kind of go into what the first master plan was and how they were able to succeed in bringing this through fruition. And then we get into the uh, second master plan here. So first we start with integrated energy generation storage. This is something that is really important. We don't really have a ton of companies that are out there today that are working on making uh, rooftop solar uh, more affordable and accessible. And also with the problem that you get with this is being able to store that energy. So this is basically taking the uh, Tesla Powerwall and then integrating that with Solar City and kind of turning it into a, you know, one whole unit instead of being separate companies is kind of integrating the two things. Um, and then it will provide, you know, highly differentiated solar once that the Powerwall is integrated with the solar panels to, you know, allow you to draw from the energy that you get from your solar panels. Alright, so now going down here, we have expand to cover major forms of terrestrial transport. So they kind of have, you know, they've built a sports car and then they've gotten into like mini SUVs and stuff like that. But in the future, they plan to develop vehicles that are for other parts of the consumer market, like a new kind of pickup truck which should be really interesting to see because the whole idea with you know like a battery powered vehicle is you don't want it to weigh a lot or else it will really hurt the amount of miles you're able to drive so you know a pickup truck it, it's gonna have to be a little bigger to you know pull things or you know put things in the uh, in the rear to you know lug around so it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of you know ideas they come up with this because pulling something or being able to tow I don't know it just seems like that could be difficult to accomplish with where battery technology is right now in terms of being able to go 
decent distances, but we'll see what they have. And then also they talk about getting into like, um, you know, passenger density, urban transport, and like heavy duty trucks, uh, Tesla semi, and like, uh, you know, Tesla buses and things like that. So we should, you know, get some kind of ideas of what these could look like in the coming years. They said that they're already kind of in product or not production, but design phase and getting something ready to reveal to the public at some point in the near future. So we're really looking forward to seeing how some of these different Tesla vehicles are going to look. All right. So now getting down here to autonomy, this is something that really everyone is already well aware of what Tesla's trying to do here with creating self-driving vehicles. They are, talk about how they already have, you know, things to help drivers currently, which is making driving safer already. But they just want to go a lot further where you can basically just sit in your car and have it drive for you without you having to be part of the process. So they said that right now current fleet learning is happening at about 300 miles per day. And they expect that regulators worldwide to approve these self-driving cars will require something in the order of 6 billion miles. So we still have a ways to go before we reach this particular milestone, but Tesla's working on it. And sometime in the future, we can expect that all of their vehicles will be self-driving. All right, so now getting into this last section here. This was something that I wasn't expecting at all. Some of these other ones were being speculated by a lot of different people, but I didn't really hear much about this particular part of the uh, what could be in the master plan part two. And this is sharing your vehicle, and this is kind of a revolutionary idea, and it could really disrupt you know, the automotive industry because it would just basically make it so not as many people would have to own cars, especially if they don't drive that much. So what you're going to do with sharing is the average person drives about five to 10% of the day. So this leaves about 95 to 90% of the day where your car can pretty much be working for you. Kind of as basically a taxi service. So once you aren't using your vehicle, you can basically allow it so that other people that need to get picked up can kind of contact Tesla or whatever app they're using so they can kind of use your car as a taxi service and then this will allow your car to kind of pay for itself essentially especially if you aren't using your car that often and you know this is uh, something that's really exciting because if you can kind of get your car to work for you it just makes it that much more affordable to buy the car and you can even get to the point maybe where, you know, you're even making money off of your car. And if that's the case, that's just going to open up the market to that many more people that will get into buying these vehicles because it's just going to become so affordable if you're allowed to, you know, share it with people that don't have vehicles. So this is the part that it, I just found really interesting and it's a really innovative idea and I'm interested to see how this works in the future if we see this come into the market and how this will kind of disrupt the taxi industry or Uber or even the car industry in general because you know not as many cars would need to be purchased if you're allowed to share your vehicle with other people that need to get driven around. So just to do a quick recap we had creating uh, stunning solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage. This is kind of what I was expecting most from this particular master plan and I'm glad to see that it, it's in here and then also expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments so that's like buses semis trucks things such as that and we're really interested to see how they're able to make these cars effective and efficient without you know having to compromise for the battery technology and then we also have develop a self-driving capability that's 10 times safer than, you know, someone just regularly driving a vehicle. And this is probably what people expected most in this master plan because we've just heard so much about autonomous driving lately, especially from Tesla. And then last but not least, we have enable your car to make money for you while you aren't using it. 
and this is really a revolutionary idea that we're very interested in seeing how this plays out. So this has kind of been just a quick run through of what the Tesla Master Plan Part 2 is. And for more information, you know, just kind of check out their website, check out their blog and keep up to date on what Tesla's, you know, plans are for the future. Anyways, thanks for watching and subscribe for more content.